Hello, my name is Aaron Balky, and today I'm going to be showing my nearest neighbor implementation of answering the traveling salesman problem. This is available on GitHub, and I'll leave a link in the description to go check it out. The original prompt for this uh, traveling salesman problem was a bit unique. Uh, it was a parcel service delivering uh, daily deliveries. The uh, special unique things were, uh, for example, there were three trucks, two drivers, uh, there were 40 packages to deliver, and I believe it was 140 miles was the uh, maximum amount of miles that could be traveled by the three trucks. And uh, things there, each package had a specific delivery time, so all that had to be taken into account. And uh, we were required to create a custom hash table, which is available under elements hash table.py. This provides a add inserts function for the hash table, a get or lookup uh, function, a deletes, and a prints one as well. In my implementation, I did go with more of a object-oriented approach. I did use fleet package and truck classes to store information, sort of, you know, object-oriented, you know, break it down into its parts. The nearest neighbor calculation itself is available in the calculation Python file. Pretty much the way it works is it loops through all of the location data for all the points around it and then just keeps on having a, a lowest value and then if it finds a smaller one it replaces that lowest value with the new lowest value. And it does that while there are still packages in the truck and when there is no more then it goes to that location, changes the truck's location, all of that good stuff. If you are interested in testing the file. There is a cloud demo available in Binder. Just have to click the Launch Binder button here. That will open up a workspace. You'll go to Terminal. In the terminal you'll have to uh, do python main.py to run the main file. This will give a uh, so summary information, so we needed to get 140 miles, and I was able to complete in 104.2 miles. And if we hit enter, we can choose a time to see the status of all of the packages or just specific packages. Uh, so if we go 10 o'clock and we say all, this will provide all 40 packages and the current location and status of them. So we can see package one, two are delivered. We can see package three is still at the hub, the carrier center. And that is the implementation there. If you're interested for a more in-depth explanation for how the nearest neighbor implementation works, how the custom hash table works, there is my entire write-up available on the GitHub as well. It's about eight pages of writing, so feel free to check that out as well. Thank you for your time, and have a good one.